cut the wind, you in. Hello, little creep. How's life been mistreating you? What you doing home? No fetch boyfriends this week. No, I've given them all time off. You what? Well, I was hardly here for Christmas holidays, was I? Mm. So I thought I'd catch up with you all, see what my nuisance as a brother is up to. I'm working no hours, paying my taxes, so my nuisance big sister can be a bloody student. Next. I've got a student loan, you know that perfectly well. <laughs> and which wife from when that one's out? Wait. And it's dark week this week, in case you forgot. Maybe that's why I came. Maybe I'm doing research on the behaviour of male adolescent fans, like you. Male adolescent fans? You're a bit young for toy boys, aren't you? Ooh, meow. George is telling clever jokes all of a sudden. Am I getting old already? Don't answer that. <laughs> Would I do that? <laughs> anyway, how was your love line? Who's been talking? Oh, touchy. Does that mean you've got one? Sod off, will ya? Hey, George, what's wrong? I don't care less if you've got a love life or not. It's a free country. It's not dark week. It's not. What's that got to do with it? You're not got someone up the duff, have you? Shh! It's worse than that. Hey, this is interesting. Oh, come on, you can tell your big sister. It's not you and worried about that, Dad. What's it got to do with him? Nothing at all. That's exactly it. Oh my god. It's nothing to do with rugby, is you? I'm gonna see fan up the duff, have No! Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Anyway, listen. Remember Susie across the street? Susie? You have been playing away, you dirty little turn cut. Girl next door's not good enough for you to so go all the way across the street. So impressed. I'm glad someone is. We haven't told anyone, not proper yet. No? Hang on, George. You're telling me you're dating an FC fan and no one's noticed. What are you smoking? Shh. It's true. Me and Susie got put on the same training course at Hull College about knowing we finished on a push to go and it just happened. Oh, that's dead sweet. But even so... She's serious about what we say. I can respect that. Well, I'm glad about that, but... Look, you won't say anything, will you? Well, no, of course not, but... Oh, thanks, sis. I owe you one. Not if you don't want me to, I mean, but... This cloak of secrecy won't last. This will all come out. We just want to get past our week. <laughs> Got you. you. Never live it down, otherwise. I can see that. We've got a pie next week. Will you still be here? Well, now... Wouldn't miss it for the world, you little devil. Come and give us a hug. I'm pleased for you. Oh, thanks, sis. You're brilliant. Do you know that? Stop being nice to me. I've had one surprise already. I am not ready for another. Well, things change, don't they? Do you not do the fuck it? What's this about things changing? Dad, you're having early. Oh, bugging about with the shifts again at work. It's that Beth C. Pillar cover road that's done it. It's the worst team leader we've ever had. Anyway, what's all this about things changing? You two look as guilty as hell. What are you hiding? Nothing, Dad. I was just asking George about his course at the college. Yeah, it's a real good course. Bloody courses. You two should be earning, pair of you. George is earning. He studies in the evening, remember? Fair enough, but you're not, are you? <laughs> I can always go if I'm not wanted. Oh, don't be daft. Come here, give your dad a hug. And don't mind me, it's that bugger across the road that's wound me up. You just can't trust these stuck-up FC bastards. We'll stick it to you on Friday, though. Hey, are you coming to the match? You wanted to. Haven't really decided. Uh, that's about right. That's all these courses for you. Can't make your mind up about now. Actually, Dad, I was thinking that I might take Mum up to the other end. I've got to promise a ticket, see? Thought I might treat her. The other end? The other end? You would or not, wouldn't you? Yes, Dad, I would. Just like your mother, stubborn as hell. Do you know, she's got us going out for a meal tomorrow. Tomorrow! With them, across the road. Who? That bloody knocker and his missus, of course. We're mates all year round, well, except at work, of course, but that's different. But when it's Derby Week, we hate each other's guts and easy. Dad, I know the form. I was born here. I mean, I told her to cancel. But would you listen? Oh, no. Anyway, let them cancel if they want to change. That's all she says. That's not a problem, is it, Dad? They're still your friends. At the end of the day, there's more to life than rugby. Not during Derby Week, there's not. You go crazy. I don't think so. 
so, no. Maybe I can see things differently since I've been away. Where the hell's your mother got to? I'm bloody starving. How the hell should I know? I'm not married to her, you are. You cheeky little... <laughs> Chip off the old block, this one, George. It says a piece. I'm right happy to see you, though, <laughs> love. I'll take your word for it. Shall I get tea started while Mum comes in? I know it's the 21st century outside this house, but still... <laughs> She's got spirit, hasn't she? Says a piece. Awkward little coward's arms. But I suppose you've got to be in this life. Fancy a pint later, son. We're going to quiz first night. Yeah, the night before the match. It's college night. Were you there last night? Uh, I was. Dad, but then I went ahead of my project so that I can concentrate on the big match. Right? Fair enough. Let you off. It's all here, Dad. Come on, you rubbins! That's what I like it, son. Right. I'm ready to go. Good kids, my kids. Completely fucking bonkers. Well, good kids. You're talking about. Yes, you are. You should be supporting your own club. The rest things through and through. Oh, yeah. I remember that. We used to have this conversation every bloody year. Oh, gosh. Is it Easter already? Change the record, will ya? No, I won't. You're from an FC family. Dad's FC. I'm FC. Even you was FC when you was young. When I was young and pure. <sighs> You're still bloody innocent. Anything you say, little sister. So you're coming in with us on Friday. Our mum's not FC. What about her? That's not her fault. She was raised a Dobbin, but you, you've got no excuse. And when I become a man, I put away childish things. Amen. What is with you? Just because you ran off some smiley university doesn't mean you can start talking down to people. What's with you? I ran towards something. Can't you understand that yet? I don't want to be stuck in a dead end job like me dad. Yeah, what does he the world? I want to make it big. Well, there's no factories around here. Then what? I mean, I love it around here. I love seeing the old mates. Let that get me. I even love you when you're not being an argumentative, sour-faced, stuck-up little. You've been talking to that bitch from across the street again, haven't you? I can tell because you're sat talking all fancy. Bitch. Yeah, that's the word I was trying to think of. There you. You've been sniffing around here. What's wrong with you? He's talking to people at crime in Derby Week. No. But what about that girl from Newcastle you brought home at Christmas? She was nice. I liked her. Oh, did you run out on her as well? No, Zappy. You wouldn't understand. She just couldn't handle this. I understand your each other. I don't want to talk about it. All right. Actually, why do I take this crap from you all the time? You're knocking about without a ladder cross road. You don't want me to tell anyone about that. He's a rover's nut. So do you pity him or something? Oh, do you think you can cure him of being a Dobbin through the healing power of love? How very dare you talk about George like that? All the Robins, at least they've got loyalty, which is more than what you've got. The last time, Susie, what I do with my life has got nothing to do with you. We've got different lives now, so just get over it. I might even go to the match. Oh, you never stick at anything for long, you or anybody. I can't do this. I wish I'd never come home. Not at Easter, anyway. Look, the rest of the year, give me a little sis. We have a joke, we have a laugh. We help each other out, yeah? And then, you turn it on bloody hand every Easter. I will kick you in the crotch when I find out what that means. Listen to yourself. It's only Monday and everyone's cracked around here, starting with you. You've all got 
Pretty much then she'll have every six is coming at you! Oh, go away from me, you. I'm going for a drink. And don't you dare try and stop me. Oh, it'll be me. I'm losing it. Stop, yeah, you must be joking. Go on, run off again. You're crazy. You'd win the Olympics if you could run as fast as you mouth. Shut up! Change your mind again, have you? <clears throat> Sorry, Mum. Ah, you will be. I could hear you down the street. Have you been ragging your brother already, young lady? No, he's been ragging me. What's part of his own team? Well, I'm sure he can make up his own mind. Not in Diver Wiki car, he's got no right. Do you know, I'm sure you two kids are even real. Oh. No, you're a pair of bloody pod people. You got swapped. You're a pair of changelings. Somewhere out there, there's two normal kids. But they've been adopted by John Prescott or someone else calm and respectable. <laughs> don't understand, it's different since he's gone away. Well maybe your brother's making out his own way in life, you know, like you ought to be. You can't make a living just out of being a rugby fan. Yes you can, especially in Derby week. Besides I used to rag him, it's like the laws of the game. Oh right, so how come you rag only rag him and you don't rag me then? I wouldn't even know how to. Believe me, if I could then I would, but you don't even get wound up in Derby week, I don't know how you do it. Me and your dad would kill each other if I did. Pull the other one. Oh no, it's true. I soon found that one out when I married him. Paint in the house, black and white, I ask you. But, he never rounds in front of your kids, I have to give him that much. Do you fancy a cup of tea? No thanks, I'm going out so. Oh, with that lad of yours that I'm not supposed to know about. No, with the FC girls, we're going for something to eat. Oh, you haven't fallen out with him already, have you? No, we're just keeping our distance till after Derby week. We're good, don't worry. You'll take your word for that one. Good. Aye. But you'll have to think about something though, because, you know, you could be in for a mixed marriage yourself, the way things are going. I know, following in your footsteps, mixed marriage. Jo, I wonder if I could sue you for mental anguish, cruelty and damages. Yeah, you probably could, but you'll get knocked out to me and your father because we spent it all on bringing you two up. I know, Mum. So? So, we'll see what happens after that, week. I'm going to go get ready now. And don't be late back. Don't you patronise me. I'm almost late my own mistakes, just like you did, yeah? <laughs> Don't I know it. Oh, have a good time. Nothing's going to keep us down tonight. Come on, you all! Come on, you all! That's nice, dear. And you'll still be my mum, no matter how much I know you buy on Friday. <laughs> Little madam. Little madam. And to think, I was just like her at that age. So how would I get into this mess? See what she's doing right now. I try not to remember that far back anymore. Now where was I? Tea. And a few minutes of peace before I start. Probably the only chance I'll get this week.